Flying cars have been symbols of the future for a century and counting. So where are all the flying cars? Well, they're hidden in plain sight. While flying cars are not everywhere in the 21st century, multiple functional designs have already been created. Aeromobile is currently on its fourth iteration of its flying car, with multiple successful prototype flights under its belt and a planned 2023 release of its flying supercar. Commercial entities such as Uber are also hoping to bring this technology to the mass market. Uber has been working with Karam Aircraft to develop flying cars for its proposed Uber Air service. While this may seem to indicate progress towards making flying cars a lived reality, the age of the flying car is still a ways away. Designs for flying cars have existed since the middle of the 20th century, although often under a different name, the rotable aircraft. However, these designs were a far cry from the gravity-defying vehicles seen in science fiction and have largely remained stagnant since the Taylor Aerocar's first prototype was designed and built in 1949. The Aerocar was essentially just a small car with a rotor on its back. It lugged around its wings and tail unit in a cart and could reach speeds of up to 60 miles per hour on the ground and 110 miles per hour in the air. The conversion process from car to plane could also reportedly be done by a single person in five minutes. Despite being perfectly functional, the Aerocar never found its way to market. Investors saw little point to the vehicle. Not only did it perform worse than single-purpose cars and planes of the time, but the hassle of converting it from car to plane and vice versa made it far less convenient than simply owning both a car and a plane. The very notion of a rotable aircraft stumped engineers since the concept first started floating around. It's not that it wasn't possible to create them. It was just difficult to engineer a vehicle that performed well as both a car and a plane. This is mainly due to how cars and planes have separate opposing sets of requirements to operate efficiently. The most glaring contradiction could be observed in their ideal shape and size. While a car needs to be wide and heavy enough to generate downforce to stay on the road, a car-sized plane would also need to be light and narrow enough for it to be aerodynamic and generate the necessary lift for takeoff. However, one breakthrough in aviation technology could be the key to making flying cars more feasible. Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing, or eVTOL. This is the very technology Uber is hoping to capitalize on as it tries to make its commercial flight service a reality. eVTOL aircraft look a lot like helicopters and will require far less space to take off and land. This will also require far less fuel than traditional aircraft, as their launch systems will be electrically powered. Regardless of the feasibility of designing and constructing a flying car, the real reason why we still don't see them in common use today is primarily due to logistics. Even with all of the promise Aeromobile had with its initial tests and designs, one of its iterations suffered a well-documented crash during a test flight in 2015. This delayed the company's certification process. Despite the numerous functional designs for flying cars over the years, safety concerns have prevented governments from giving manufacturers the green light to make flying cars commercially available, and with good reason, too. Driving a car is already dangerous enough as it is. Every year, approximately 1.3 million people die as a result of road traffic crashes. Up to 50 million more people suffer non-fatal injuries, with many incurring a disability due to their injury. Imagine how much these numbers would change if cars on the road had the option to fly. Piloting an aircraft is orders of magnitude more complex than driving a car and requires months of training just to receive certification to fly recreationally. While AI technology has been advancing rapidly, with documented cases of AI pilots outperforming human pilots, current designs for flying cars lack the onboard computing power to properly accommodate an AI. 
for flying cars to even begin to approach reality. Safety systems akin to those featured in airports must be implemented on a national and eventually global level. One way this could be achieved would be by outfitting all flying cars with communications technology that would enable them to interface near instantaneously with satellites for navigation as well as other flying cars. The problem is that technology like this is being developed, but it's not quite there yet. Billions of dollars must also be invested into constructing infrastructure to accommodate this new type of vehicle. Even in a world where flying cars are air taxis for the most part, vertiports must still be constructed to give pilots a hub where they can take off and land as they pick up and drop off passengers. And what happens when these flying cars become commercially available? Good luck buying one for yourself. Aeromobile will be charging a cool $1.6 million when its car of the future hits the market. It's been a century of engineers and automakers exploring the concept of a flying car. And after the endless examples that never made it to the market, we are faced with this dilemma. Do we hold on to flying cars, the stuff of science fiction for years? Or do we come up with a new vision of the future 